Okay, what we're looking at here is an old time gas chain. And uh, you can see this is a gas valve here and a regulator and then there's a valve downstream. What I wanted to demonstrate on this thing is this is a slow opening valve. And slow opening valves were necessary on some of these machines. And sometimes we have problems when we put a, a combination gas valve in the place of this and oftentimes will, when the valve shuts off quickly, it'll put out the pilot light. And so we have had a problem with this and there are some slow opening valves or step opening valves that will solve it sometimes, but um, I wanted to show you how this thing works. Okay, I'm gonna point out a few parts of this valve. What we're looking at here is this is a heater. The metal here is a bimetal. You can't see that too well. Let me see if I can get that a little closer. Okay, that's the bimetal up there, and then there's a heater right underneath. Now you can get a little better view of that heater right there. It's just nichrome wire that's weaved across this thing, and it's supposed to warm that bimetal. And that's going to bend the bimetal. As it warms up, the bimetal is going to move up and it's going to open the valve. Uh, let me kind of give it, get you an idea what the valve itself looks like. Okay, perhaps you can see the uh, valve a little better this way. Uh, this is the valve right here, the shaft, and you can see the shaft right there. Okay, be looking right here and you'll see this thing open. It opens pretty slowly. Okay, now it's open completely. It took about 45 seconds for this to happen. So one of the things you should note when you're dealing with these things is if you turn on the, the thermostat, this thing is not going to take off for at least 30 seconds. Okay, now I've killed the power and it's going to close again. Again, this is going to take somewhere between 30 and 45 seconds before it's completely open. It will, or completely closed. So it will just kind of slow down and stop. So that's how that slow opening valve works. A bit of an odd duck, very, very old. Uh, we don't use them anymore. There's one other thing I wanted to show you about this valve. On some of these really old valves, they actually had a manual override. I mean, you couldn't, uh, most of them you couldn't hold open. If you look at this and I push this down, it opens a valve. So you can actually manually open it. It won't stay. I don't think these were set up. So there were some that you actually could just manually open. And they would be open, you know, if you pushed it down and uh, it clicked over, it would uh, stay open. But it's just kind of interesting. This thing actually has a manual override on it. So that's the antique valve. Hope you never see one. Uh, because anyone you see, the furnace is probably due for replacement anyway. But uh, I just thought it would be interesting to see how that valve works.